Hello darlings and welcome back to my channel. If you enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a sparkly thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. On today's tea and tutorial, the subject is your fabulous brows. Now most people say they should be twins, but I believe they should be sisters. That means they should be pretty close because I've never seen two that are exactly the same. So enjoy the video and I will catch up with you later. I don't know where my manners are today. So actually, darlings, I'd like to introduce you to the eyebrows and the stunning face of Miss Anne-Marie Green. She's going to be modeling for us today. I normally start by grooming the brows with a little spoolie, and then I use two pencils. I use one with a fine tip and one with a slightly thicker tip. I normally use the Anastasia brow definer and also the brow whiz, two sister pencils, like the brow sisters. <laughs> Today, I replaced the Anastasia Brow Wiz with the MAC Brow Styler, simply because the color was a little more suited for Anne-Marie. I recommend lining the brow from underneath to form the actual shape. Okay, so we didn't have time to remove some of those pesky little strays, so we just covered them up with a little extra concealer. Shh, just don't tell anybody and don't get too close. <laughs> As you can see, I continued to go back and forth sculpting Anne-Marie's brow with both pencils until I felt that I had achieved something that was perfect for her face. Now, how you choose to define your brows is entirely up to you. You could go with something really soft and subtle, or you could go with something a little more dramatic. Darling, it's just makeup, so have fun and do what makes you feel more comfortable. So after reshaping the brow with the pencils, I then like to go in with a little extra powder because I find that it just gives the brow a little bit of depth and a little drama. And you know me, I'm all about a dramatic brow. <laughs> and there you are, darling, an accentuated brow. Perfect for this face. Anne-Marie, in relation to the word love, what is the first thing you think of? Uh, the first thing I think of is my daughter, 100%. Um, everything about her um, reminds me of love. When I hear her laugh, when I hear her sing, it's an overwhelming feeling. Um, never known anything like it before. What has been your source of motivation when it comes to your personal life and career? Motivate. What's the first thing to think of? I am motivated by probably my first love. And my first love is my mom. And I'm motivated by the desire to make her proud. She made a, a, a number of sacrifices throughout her life for my benefit. And, and what like or whom inspires sure you? All that hard work was worth it. And what inspires you? What it inspires me is a lifelong desire for learning. And the reason I want to learn is because I want to know what it means to be completely human. All the different ways in which this body and this mind and this soul can express itself is what I'm trying to hurl myself Thank into. Thank you so much. So if I think I can learn...